What's up, guys? Jerem here. November is officially in the books, so let's take a look at who was hot and who was not this past month. Kicking things off for the hot side, you have the Toronto Maple Leafs, who finished the month 12-2, and two, which is very impressive considering where they were in October. They had a total of two five-game win streaks during this month. One of those did technically start in October, and they're also currently on a four-game win streak. Speaking of four, you have the big four finally doing what they're being paid to do, looking impressive. Is this going to finally be the year for Toronto to finally break the curse and get that parade for their fans? Next up, you have the New York Rangers, who after starting 0-1-2, finished this month 7-2-2, two two, which gives them the third position in the Metro Division in that playoff spot. That's great, and hopefully this team can keep it up. We'll find out if they are pretenders or contenders when they start facing some of the better competition in this league. And finally, for the hot side, I'm going to is the Chicago Blackhawks. Sue me. I'm being biased. I don't care. This is my video. I can do what I want. After starting 0-7-2 in a start that everybody wants to forget, they picked up their very first victory of the year on the very first day of November, then proceed to drop the next two games, then proceed to drop Jeremy Carlton. After do, making that change, the team goes on a four-game heater, finish the month 6-3 and three under Walter White, a.k.a. Derek King. Vice versa, I know, whatever. It's amazing to see what this team can do while still knowing they have a long ways to go. It's nice to see if they can get consistent and play the same game for a full 60 minutes. This team could be scary. Switching things up to the cold side of things, we have the New York Islanders who are the current owners of an eight-game losing streak and are currently on a COVID pause, which might be just what the doctor ordered. This has got to be the biggest disappointment in the NHL to start off the first two months as they were Stanley Cup favorites for a lot of people. You can't blame a bad start on a long road trip when you can't even win at home. Hopefully, once they get back on the ice, they'll figure it out and get back into Stanley Cup contention. Next up, you have the Ottawa Senators, who GM Peter Dorian said after signing his extension with the team that the rebuild is officially over and now it is time to start winning. Well, since that statement has been said, this team is 4-14-1, including a 1-10-1 November, and they are dead last in the NHL. You just waived your goalie of the future, who you still owe $6.25 million per year for at least three more years, unless you can somehow convince a team to take that on. And the light at the end of the tunnel is getting dimmer and dimmer as the days go on. It is time to change something somewhere soon. Speaking of time to make a change, the last team on my cold list is the Vancouver Canucks. How many times do we have to see the same story before ownership finally says enough is enough? There are way too many good pieces on this team and good players that they are just wasting the primes of their career standing behind a GM and coach who just clearly aren't getting the job done. And after a 4-8-1 and one November, it looks like Canuck fans got a lot of pain still coming for you. All right, so you just heard my list of hot and cold teams for November. I would love to hear who you think has been hot and cold this month and who you are most looking forward to seeing December. Either take that jump or possibly cool off, depending on what your fan base is. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter. And again, support the Hockey Podcast Network, support the Winnie City Benders podcast, and hey, support your teams.